All right, welcome back. This is World History with Mr. McCall. We are looking at how humans went from hunters and gatherers to become farmers. Our goal today is identify Neolithic settlements and explain the reason for their location. Now, of course, Neolithic, Neo meaning new, Lithic meaning stone. So this is the new Stone Age settlements or towns or villages. So when we say Neolithic, we know that that means that they had stone tools and agriculture. They had started farming. All right, so we're going to talk about some of the, the more important settlements and explain why they're where they are. And there's one really big reason. All right, so let's start off with this map. Let's take a look. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle... The Neolithic settlements that we're looking at. That's Chattel Hoyuk. You remember that from our vocabulary terms. That's Jericho. And that is Jarmo. Alright, so these are three different Neolithic settlements. Now, right away, something you should notice is that for the most part, they fall within the Fertile Crescent. And what is the Fertile Crescent? Well, it's a, an area of land that's shaped like a crescent and has very fertile soil. The only exception being Chattahoyuk, but it's still pretty close to the Fertile Crescent. All right, so what do, what do all these have in common? Why did they settle here? All right, so the one thing that they all have in common is they have fertile soil. Now, because they have fertile soil, they're able to create something that other humans were not able to create. They're able to create a stable food supply. Stable food supply, meaning they don't have to look around for their food. They know exactly where they're going to find it. Okay, so since they know exactly where they're going to be finding their food, they don't have to worry about looking for their food. Now when they don't have to worry about looking for their food, they're able to do some other things. First, they're able to build permanent shelters. They don't have to chase their food. They can find a place to live and make it permanent. Now, because they're able to build permanent shelters, uh, they have a stable food supply, their communities are going to become larger. The reason that we are able to study these is because they are large enough that they left a great deal of artifacts. Now, also with a stable food supply, everybody doesn't have to look for food. They have enough food for everybody, which means some people are going to have time to build better tools and to make better clothing. They don't have to be looking for food. They know where it's coming from. They can work on tools and clothing. Now, when people are working on tools and clothing, there's going to be extras, and some people are going to want to trade those extras. So we have these three different things that come because of the fertile soil and the stable food supply. And they all lead to our final outcome for these people in the Neolithic settlements. They're able to live easier, more comfortable, and interesting lives. So how do we connect all these? Let's go ahead and connect them. Fertile soil led to a stable food supply. Stable food supply meant that they could have permanent shelters. Some people would freed up their time so they could work on tools and clothing. And people that had extra tools or clothing could trade them for stuff that they wanted. Now, all these things contribute to making their lives easier, more comfortable, and interesting. So that is why they chose their location. And these are some of the Neolithic settlements. Chalhoyuk, Jericho, and Jarmo. We're all finished. Take care.